with their dramatic ability to adapt to a wide variety of <laughs> dogs lick, scratch, chew, and shake themselves to keep tidy. Oh, hello there. My name is Suds, and today I'm going to give you my top tips for sending cold B2B emails. Brought to you by. Tip number one, keep it short. Sorry, I'm not into short guys. Tip two, have a call to action. What the hell do you want someone to do once they've received your email? Just make it as clear as possible. Tip three, this is probably my best tip. You don't say. 80 to 90% of your emails will be opened in a mobile device. So what you wanna do is keep the message so it's easy for the person receiving it to digest it on their phone. So what I like to do is send text messages rather than emails, which are an essay. You don't say. Tip four, follow up. So you sent a wonderful email with a great call to action or maybe a brilliant offer to get in touch with you to talk to you about your product or service, but you don't get a response. I can pretty much guarantee that you'll probably get a better response if you follow up within the next few days or a few weeks just to say, hey, did you get a chance to read my emails? I know you're super busy, but if you've got a minute, drop me a line so we can have a chat or a coffee or whatever you want them to do. Tip five, try not to use images, especially if it's the first time you're sending an email, just because images have a wonderful habit of triggering spam filters. And if your message ends up in a spam filter, there is zero chance someone's gonna see it. Zero point zero. Tip six, limit your email to one link per email. So like images, the more links you have, the more likely it may end up in a spam folder. Keep it to one link and you'll, you'll thank me for that. Thank you. Tip seven, think about your customer. Think, Mark. So where are they likely to be when they open your email? Or what are they likely to be doing whilst they're opening your email? So think about that and use that to your advantage. Tip eight, test, test, test. What I mean by that is try different subject lines, try different messages or try different call to actions. You'd be surprised at just how few people tend to have this tone deaf approach to cold emails. It's not about you, it's about your customer. So try different ways to get in contact with them and see what works better. Simples. Tip nine, address people by their name. If you want to guarantee your email goes to junk folder or gets deleted, Try hello there. Hello there. If you've got the data to say, here's the person I'm emailing, here's their first name, just include that in there. You will see a better call to action or a better open rate, guaranteed. Tip 10, avoid sending emails to info at or hello at company name or whatever their suffix may be. Simply because statistically speaking, if your email service provider sees that you've been emailing a whole lot of info at addresses, then it's likely that your email will end up in the junk folder. Bonus tip alert. Don't say the Suds man isn't generous because I'm gonna give you this one extra. Thanks, asshole. So avoid using things like words like free, discount, 100% off, all these kind of spam tactics that people have been using to get people's attention, which literally has run its course. It's over. Keep it real and you'll be okay. Remember, I love you and I'll see you next week with hopefully a new book that I can discuss with you. Coming up next, the case of the cantankerous old geezer.